Hey guys, today we're going to replace the drive belt on a 2006 Toyota 4Runner. We're going to be using a half inch breaker bar, a 14 millimeter socket, and a 5 millimeter Allen wrench to complete this job. Once you get the vehicle raised up and you remove the splash shield, we're going to take the breaker bar and 14 millimeter socket and set it on the belt tensioner. When this vehicle, the belt tensioner gets rotated counterclockwise to loosen the belt. The best method is to reach up, loosen the tension by rotating the tensioner counterclockwise, then rotate that belt and slip it off the power steering pulley on the far left. We can slowly return that tensioner back to its unloaded position and then get that breaker bar <clears throat> out of the way. Once that breaker bar is out of the way, we can go ahead and take this belt and walk it off each pulley one at a time. Once you get the belt all the way off all of the pulleys, it's still going to be stuck on the fan clutch. So I'm going to show you how to get it off of the fan clutch. So this belt is stuck on the fan clutch. So to get it fully off the vehicle, I'm going to push one side of the belt over one of the fan blades and I'm going to rotate that fan until I can walk that belt all the way off. Once you get that belt off, you want to look at the back side of the belt. You're going to be looking for you're going to be looking for any um, cracks, tears, or damage, contamination. If you wipe your finger on the belt, if like black stuff comes off, that can be liquid contamination like antifreeze or oil. And we're just going to look at the ribbed side of the belt all the way down and just look for any cracks or damage. <clears throat> we would also look at the smooth side. There's a seam there. This belt has a few years on it, not many miles, but a lot of years. So the rubber has deteriorated and the uh, label or stamps uh, with the branding has worn off from the years of where, uh, just age. So we always wanna inspect our belt. The next thing we want to do is inspect pulley alignment. When we're checking the belt alignment, we're simply going to look at we can look at the pulleys. Um, this vehicle's it's hard to get a straight shot of the pulleys to identify if all the belts are straight. <clears throat> Excuse me, if all the pulleys are straight. Um, so when it's running, I can shine a light down there, identify if all the pulleys are aligned. I will spin each idler pulley and tensioner pulley the AC clutch, alternator, the water pump, I rotate it. I also grab the fan and rock it, see if there's any free play. What I'm doing is I'm listening for noise or anything that feels like it might be coming apart.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and preload this tensioner and uh, install the pin so then we can install the belt with ease. So I like to get my socket in there to verify my angle. Install my breaker bar. I'm using a five millimeter Allen wrench and I'm gonna preload this guy. And you'll notice a hole right here on the tensioner. I'm going to drop the pin in, release the tensioner, and now we have a preloaded belt tensioner. We can install that belt. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I need to get this belt back around to my fan. So again, I'm going to loop this belt around one of the fan blades and then I'm going to rotate this fan all the way around and leave that loop just on the one blade and then voila we got a belt that goes all the way around the water pump next step um, I'm looking at my diagram and I'm just going to walk the belt around each pulley as specified in the diagram. So first I'm going to go around my water pump and then idler pulley number two and our alternator. I'm going to check my alignment. And then I'm going to pull that belt down around my air conditioning compressor and around idler pulley number one. And then it specifies this belt going around the crankshaft pulley or damper. Preloaded, I should be able to get that belt over the power steering pulley by just kind of walking it over like so. And then I'll double check my alignment on each pulley, make sure my belt is in the grooves. Like it's aligned with all the grooves, I'm going to take my breaker bar, rotate counterclockwise, remove my pin, and slowly uh, let me reorient my breaker bar there. Remove my pin and slowly. Release the tension onto the belt. And then I just got to verify that everything still looks aligned. This is just a visual inspection. And then my next step is to run the engine. Check my work. Next step, we start the engine, check our work. Doing this job only requires some basic hand tools, a little bit of time, and um, a little bit of know-how. You don't need a lift, and you don't need um, any other specialty tools. This is something you can easily do uh, on your back at home, um, or if you had ramps or something like that to go ahead and, and replace your, your drive belt or serpentine belt. So I'll see you next time.